vintage cars are old, but they were meant to race, and we race them. I mean, sometimes we don't run them as hard because they're so darn valuable, but everybody loves to, to get out there and pretend they're 21 years old again. We like to taste the flavor of different fruit all the time, and fruit to us is cars. I've always been a collector of cars, but I like to race what I collect. My grandchildren call me Bill. In my mind, I'm still 16 years old. I never want to grow up, and this is giving me the opportunity to stay that way. They don't give any awards. There's no money. It's just for the pleasure of the event, and there is, in general, a high level of respect for the cars as well as fellow drivers. We have nine race groups. We have everything from the Trans Am group here to uh, Formula cars to the Tin Top race this year, which is for more or less standard saloons, uh, Escort BDGs and stuff like that. Then we have small board GT cars. We have 50 sports racing cars, early 60s sports racing cars. 36 races over two days and practice on Friday. So it's a, it's a pretty mixed and big bag. It's very hard to find unmolested, real cars with real provenance, real history. These are icons of uh, a certain period of American sport. The big thing is to show people the whole panoply of historic motorsport. They came across the line the other day together. No, you know, Lime Rock's really unique in a lot of ways, and this is not a stadium, this is a park. You can get up close and see the cars in good circumstances, in the paddock as well as they know as a spectator. And I, I think the place draws the people because the place is so nice. Then they see the cars and then they see what goes on and they really become fans. And I think this is the most beautiful racetrack in the country, maybe the world. This Lancia D50 is a very iconic Formula One car and it's just such a thrill to drive something with that kind of history. This car has been in restoration for two years, and coming here was the second time I sat in it. And it's a work of art, and it's a thrill and an honor uh, to be trying to get the hang of it. This will be the first time, I would say, anywhere in the world where two D50As ran side by side since 1954. They are replicas, they were built from parts after Ferrari junked everything that they had when Ascari was killed. But we wanted to have them both here running at the same time. And it made a pretty good sight of the two of them going down the main straight. There's plenty of vintage, as they call it here, racing, but not all of it insists uh, as much as possible on real cars. I mean, a guy called me the other day and said he'd love to bring his GT40 here. And I said, well, you know, when you get a real one, we will welcome you with open arms. This next car pulling up belongs to Jim Kennedy. It's a Porsche 912. I love what they do with the, the Sunday off. There's no other uh, race meeting in the world that has a concourse on the same venue, on the same piece of track, on the same piece of asphalt, in the same weekend. It started as a car show, and now it's a concourse, about 200 strong and the car show, a gathering in March. I think there are a thousand cars here today. Um, and the, a lot of the race cars are in the show. And that's kind of neat. This is Rob Dyson's Eagle Indy car. Monterey, to see the cars like we're seeing them now, you have to pay in addition to whatever it costs you to get into the Monterey Historics. And this is just uh, really a great little package. Here is a lovely De Tommaso Pantera. You can come here and see history, all of it, and it all runs, and you can talk to people of all the events that you can come to during the year. And I think Lime Rock on a weekend here, you probably have a chance to see more interesting, great cars and meet very interesting people, drivers, uh, engineers, designers, uh, who gravitate to this particular event simply because it's so accessible. The main thing that drew me to Lime Rock is the proximity to New York. You can drive up here in the country to a beautiful racetrack with 
good, sensible race car drivers, and you can have a good time racing your own car. I feel that this short track, mile and a half long, means if you can walk a mile and a half, you can see everything. And we've worked to create pathways this year to make it easier, and, and you see it happening, and that's really satisfying. There's only one lame rock, and if anyone ever tells you that they have done a perfect lap of lime rock, I'd like to meet them. What better way to spend the day out here than all your favorite cars and see your favorite people? It's wonderful. So if you love cars and you love history, this is the place to be.